everyone. So you're probably wondering who this short-haired freak is. Yeah, um, I cut off all of my hair, like 19 inches of hair. It's gone. But I'm not here to talk about me today. I'm here to talk about my dog. Yeah, about four months ago, I don't remember if I mentioned him or not, I may have said I adopted a dog and said my next video will be about that. Well, we're finally to that point. But yeah, here we go. So I had been wanting a dog for a while, for many, many, many reasons, and I saw this one dog at a local shelter online, and I said, hey, parent of mine, what if we went and looked at this dog? And they were kind of like, okay, sure, we've said you can get a dog, this one looks all right. It was an Australian cattle dog mix, and that's something I had been interested in adopting. So we went to the shelter the next day. So we get to the front desk and I tell them about the dog I'm interested in looking at. And they said, hey, there's already an application down for that dog, but you can go look at him anyway and we'll show you all the other dogs if you're interested in one. So I said, sure, I'm not giving up this easily, you know. I want a dog, I'm sure I will find one. Let's at least go look at who's here today. So I go in and I walk down the first row. And the first dog I see is this mm, 11 pound brown thing labeled Chihuahua Mix shaking in the back of its kennel. And because I didn't want a Chihuahua and didn't want a dog that seemed that scared, I walked past and the next dog I saw was the one I had originally come for, the Cattle Dog Mix. But I knew he was already taken, so I kind of looked at him and moved on because at this shelter, it's first come, first serve, unless there's a serious reason why you couldn't get the dog. So I walk around the rows, I see a couple dogs that catch my eye. There was a boxer mix, there was a greyhound, there was an English setter, there was a line of adorable pit bulls, but they were very, very large. And while we already have a large dog, I'm a small person. I'm only five foot three-ish. And I don't need a big dog, especially if I'm going to move out and take this dog with me to an apartment. I need something I can afford to keep that's not, you know, 80 pounds. Though I do love me some big boys. I'm standing there in the middle of the kennels. All the dogs are barking. It's kind of loud. And my dad's like, do you want to go home? Is there anything else you want to see? Anyone who caught your eye? I think about the boxer mix who was super chill but so chill that he wasn't even interested when I walked by. I thought about the cattle dog and then I was like you know what let's go back this way for a second. So I go back to the shaking brown puppy that's in the corner of its kennel and I look at him and I look at my dad and I go that's not a chihuahua. So we sit there and I look at him and He's got this really shy appearance, but he's interested in us. He's looking at us. So eventually I just kneel down in front of the kennel and he takes up the courage to walk over to the kennel door and look at us. So he puts his paws up and I snap a quick picture to send to my friends and I'll put that picture up now. And then um, the lady who had brought us back walks by again and she's like, hey, do you want to look at this dog? You can take him to the playroom if there's no cats in there. So she grabbed him and took him to the playroom and within a couple of seconds he warmed up and he was this bright bubbly dog. Hey baby! Hey! You got a little puppy face. Yeah. So after a lot of playing and texting my mother and uh, taking lots of pictures with him, so, we put our application down, and as we're up there, someone else says, oh, there's already an application down for that dog. And they go, no, that's for the Greyhound. And we were, we panicked for a second, but then they were like, oh no, it's for a different dog. And we said, oh, okay. So we fill out the forms, and they're like, all right, we can't process today because we're closing tonight, but we'll reopen on Tuesday. We had gone on a Saturday morning, and they're closed Sundays and Mondays. And eventually we get a call, and it's the shelter saying, hey, we realize there's an application ahead of yours for Roscoe. So 
we all kind of scrambled for a second like what if we don't get this dog we really wanted him everyone was kind of okay with him so we decide let's just see what happens they said hey we've already tried to contact the other applicant and they haven't gotten back to us so if they don't get back to us soon it'll roll over to you and we'll schedule him to be neutered and you can have him in about a week so on that Tuesday uh, we wound up doing a meet and greet with our current other older dog an eight-year-old lab mix named Finley you may have seen her somewhere on my channel before we did our meet and greet with Finley and Finley and at that time Roscoe got around got along really well so on that Tuesday where we had expected to be bringing home the dog and they had set up the meet and greet they said instead look the other application because we haven't gotten in contact with them if it does if they don't get back to us in 24 hours we'll roll forward with you which is really reassuring after two days of panic of oh my gosh what if we don't get this dog at that time we had already bought dog supplies because he's a smaller dog we had picked out a name and um, his name is Denver so now we're thinking all right we want to bring Denver home uh, it takes a week from the Saturday that we got him so Saturday to the Tuesday we found out that he's probably going to be ours to the next day finding out he definitely is Ooh, there's a, that stupid speck is on my chest that thing I hate that so um, by the next Saturday they said yeah you can come get him on that Saturday which was the day before Easter so we went in and we got him and then we had to run very quickly back to our church so the first place he ever got to visit was church and as for Denver's backstory well apparently the shelter had had him from a very small puppy age and he was adopted at around eight weeks old and that family took him in and named him Roscoe the shelter had originally named him Brownie and then the original owners apparently were too sick to take care of him so they returned him by policy to the shelter he had been there for less than a day by the time we went to visit him at the shelter so now he's here and he has a little bit of PTSD about shelters he we took him to the groomers last month and um, he does not enjoy things that remind him of being in the shelter but apparently after that first Saturday when my dad and I had met him they the shelter worker said he had been really freaked out about being abandoned here again and then when we met him he opened back up and became a lot more bubbly so after that once we got him home he settled in nicely and now I can show you him everyone this is Denver Hey, buddy. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> when I adopted him, he was 11 and a half pounds and five months old, and now he is probably closer to 20 pounds, and he is 10 months old. So, um, as for what breed he is, we were told he's a Chihuahua mix, and I don't see many Chihuahua traits in him, especially not with his size. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> but I think he's a miniature pinzer mix. Whoa, 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 calm down. Yeah, you're a big baby. Look at you, you're a big baby. You don't want to look at the camera, do you? He'll just lay his head on your shoulder and expect to be held. He likes hugs and will try to give you kisses. Oh, I know, look up here. You can do it. He loves to be held and is a good lap dog. He also does enjoy hiking and going out for zoomies, which is his game of running around like a maniac while I try to touch him. Kind of like tag, but better. So yeah, that's Denver and his adoption story. All right, well, um, hit subscribe even though I don't make content. Uh, like this video for more dog content and leave a comment telling me how you hate my personality, but my dog is worth being here Bye guys